Hi, my sister is gonna teach Gatsby and I how she makes her a really awesome breakfast omelet. Hi. Let's get started. Cut the bacon. With bacon, you want to start with really low heat, and then you can gradually increase the heat. Hey, Gatsby. Good boy. Peel some of the zucchini so that it looks like a zebra. Not all the way through, so it's still holding together. Then you spin it around and do it again. So you have four pieces here, looks like, like this. Next, the mushrooms. I like to add some salt and pepper before whisking the eggs. So now we're gonna add the onions first. Next we wanna do the zucchini. Now I'm gonna add the tomatoes and a little bit of bacon. I just added a little bit of butter to the bottom. I like to add some thyme. We have our shredded cheese. It looks pretty good. Let's make another one. We remove all the toppings. And then we can start adding the toppings back in. Fold. Do you want a mushroom? We got our omelets here. We're ready for breakfast. Start the vlog. We are in a large rental house. I think we need to do some corgi hide and seek. What do you think, Gatsby? Should we do it? One, two, three, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Where could Gatsby be? Okay, this time I'll hide and you seek. probably wondering how we got here and where we are. Sorry about that. In order to explain everything, I thought that we will jump back a few days and share with you our trip up to Salt Lake City, Utah. Check it out. See you guys back here. My family just arrived last night. You ready to go, Gatsby? <laughs> Long road trip. So I didn't really mention why we're driving to Salt Lake City. My dad's family friends are there. We haven't seen them in a really long time. We thought that we would go and visit them. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Look, Gatsby, you have your dish. You have a bed for you. Oh. And look, you get a little treat. Morning. It's freezing cold, by the way. This is a car we're driving. Ugh. Back on the road. Oh, we gotta stop off at Walmart to get Pokemon. Sun version right now. <laughs> oh, they have it. Please Navidad. There's a poop emoji shirt. Mango Spears. Britney Spears' sister. We got the game. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they look cool? 
First is grass type Pokemon Rowlet. Next the fire type Pokemon Litten. That's the water type Pokemon Popplio. Yay, Rowlet! Who'd you guys choose? Put it in the comments below. Ah, oh, finally. He made it to our house that we're staying at. Let's go, let's check it out. Play this water. Let's check out the house here. You can see the waterfall from inside of the living room. Outdoor river. This is our room. There you go. And it's upstairs. Upstairs we have a library. Another awesome view of the waterfall and the master bedroom. I think he likes the house. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that butt. <laughs> I brought my entire Mac computer. It doesn't have a stand, so we have a stand right over here that my friend made. There we go. It's working. We're all up and running. My laptop is way too weak in order to edit vlogs, and I just wanted to mention as a surprise treat that for Black Friday and Thanksgiving and Cyber Monday, we are going to be doing a sale on our Corgi on Fleek calendars here. We have the Gatsby Instant Mood Booster sticker pack, as well as the exclusive Corgi on Fleek sticker. Since it's November, I thought I would share with you guys the November photo. Here it is. Get ready. Oh. This is shot of my sister's favorite photo in the calendar. It was actually really hard to get the shot, especially because there were so many people walking up, and cameras have a hard time focusing when objects are moving towards them. We had to do quite a few number of takes. We started off when it was still like afternoon light, and we ended up when it got super dark at night. But the shot turned out really, really nice. Make sure to go to CorkyOnFleek.com to check out the big sale that's going on for Black Friday and Cyber Monday and Thanksgiving and everything else. And let's continue on with the vlog. We are gonna be checking out the sights and sounds of Salt Lake City with Gatsby while hiking. The prize at the top. We made it! Looks like where you would do the Lion King Akuna Matata Gatsby's growing up scene. I love playing board games. Check it out, we have Seven Wonders. This one has so many awards that it won. We also have Dominion here with two expansion packs. We also just got this game, King of Tokyo. It's like one of my favorite things to do is play board games. Oh, I love it. We are gonna go right now to the grocery store to get some ingredients. So, see you guys there. I got the apple selection. These aisles are huge. I'm looking for the ingredients for a pumpkin strudel. Ground ginger. To get some pumpkin cream cheese. We need white and brown sugar. I've never heard of coconut sugar before. Coconut water, coconut oil, coconut sugar, coconut everything. Coconut rice, coconut chips, coconut matzo ball soup. And ironically, they don't even sell regular coconuts. Weird. Extra butter. So the other day I was with my friends at a cafe and he's lactose intolerant. He asked, there's no lactose in this, right? And the girl's like, Oh, extra lactose? You want me to put extra lactose in it? And he's like, no, I, I don't want any lactose. And then she's like, well, the one that you ordered doesn't have any lactose in it. Do you want me to put some extra inside? And he was like, no, I don't want extra lactose. <laughs> Who asks for extra lactose? Extra lactose, please. Just in the car right now, playing some more Pokemon, waiting for my parents to finish up on their grocery shopping now, too. What? Rowlet is evolving? Into Dartrix? See someone inside the house. <laughs> Look who it is. Are you a corgi? Hey. <laughs> it's now time for us to make our creamy pumpkin strudels. My mom found this recipe and I thought that we could make it. Jeff, do you want to help me make it? Let's get started. Inside of a bowl, we're going to add a can of pumpkin. 
half a cup of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of ground ginger, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and half a teaspoon of salt. And now we mix. Come on, good? All chopped. What do you think, Gatsby? In a separate bowl, we're gonna add one cup of sugar and four teaspoons of cinnamon. Cinnamon sugar. Next, we're gonna take the cream cheese and we're gonna divide it into 12 slices. Next, we're gonna use something called phyllo dough. It's kind of like a really crispy crust. We're gonna take two thirds of a cup of melted butter and brush it over the phyllo dough. Next, we're gonna sprinkle our two tablespoons of cinnamon sugar mixture onto the phyllo and then two tablespoons of our chopped pecans. Now we slice it lengthwise and we're gonna stick our cream cheese piece about two inches from the edge. And we're gonna take our pumpkin mixture and put a spoonful of that on top, fold it over, and fold in the sides. We're just gonna roll. They look like little burritos. And we're gonna stick these on a baking sheet. We paint each one with some butter, and we sprinkle with the remaining cinnamon sugar. Place these in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Creamy pumpkin strudels. Let's try this out. Super crunchy. <laughs> oh. Crunchy phyllo dough, good. Pumpkin, good. Cinnamon sugar, good. Cream cheese, good. Put it all together, mmm. I'd give it a nine out of 10. Thanks for helping me cook. Let's check outside. Gatsby, it's snowing. I see all the snow on you already. The jacuzzi has snow on it. It's cold. For all my friends in America, I want to wish you guys a happy, happy Thanksgiving. For this year, I am thankful for all the opportunities that I've been given. A lot of things I've pursued, I have been successful in this year and I am just very thankful for that. In the comments below, make sure you write down what you are thankful for. Check out corgionfleet.com, our calendar website. We are doing a Black Friday sale that will last the weekend. I'm just gonna spend the rest of my time with my family and, and my dog enjoying everything. So happy Thanksgiving and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night.